Doja Cat, Lord, Dua Lipa, Charlie XCX, Billie Eilish. X-Gen, I'm going to help you out. I'm going to explain to you who the top female singers are right now. Do you need to know this? No. Am I going to tell you anyway? Yes. That way when it comes up on your Twitter feed or somebody mentions it, you at least have a passing idea of what a Charlie XCX might even be. It's not a car, believe it or not. It's a singer. But before we get to the reigning princess, here are the top five. Number five. Number five. Here is Charlie, whatever her last name is. I have no idea, and I don't want to get it wrong because she looks mean. She is a multi-genre artist, electropop, dance pop, and experimental pop. So, you know, diverse. Number four, Dua Lupa. I said that wrong. Number four, Dua Lipa. I guess that's how you pronounce it. She's from London. She's won three Grammy Awards. So many nights my tears fell harder than rain. Out of all the ones I've listened to, I actually like her the best. And I think you, my female ex-gen friends and the gays, I think you guys would like her. Straight men, not for you. Third runner-up, Lord. She's from New Zealand. She's got two Grammy Awards and a Golden Globe. When you read Wikipedia, it lists her as the curator for one of the Hunger Games movies for the soundtrack. You're not going to tell me that 20th Century Fox, who spent $125 million on a movie, let a 17-year-old girl pick the songs that were going on the soundtrack. I, I call bullshit. Her father is Irish, and her mother is a Croatian poet. And if you look at some of her lyrics, they're... They sound like she's saying something. They're kind of interesting. Here is um, some of her lyrics from her hit, Royal. I've never seen a diamond in the flesh. I cut my teeth on wedding rings in the movies. And I'm not proud of my address. I'm a torn up town. No postcode envy. Number two, Doja Cat. Actually, I don't know what to say. I don't. But before you judge too soon, remember, this is what we made our parents deal with. So she became famous originally from a viral um, clip from a song. Now you can judge. Now, X-Gen, you can judge all you want. And so, so Doja Cat is listed as a singer-songwriter. Yeah, yeah. Not to be confused with a singer-songwriter. She's described by the Wall Street Journal as a, a skilled technical rapper with a strong melodic sense and a bold visual presence. The Wall Street Journal. Maybe I'm just confused about what the Wall Street Journal is. But I'm sure that she's Doja Cat. It's just going to be a name that we're going to remember for years, generations to come. But she has penned some songs that I'm sure are going to be some pop classics. Like Boss Bitch. Juicy. Freak. Freaky Deaky. Naked. And Bottom Bitch. In May 2022, she had to have a tonsil lanced because of her vaping. Time named her one of the most 100 most influential people of 2023. Not one of the most famous singers. One of the most influential people of 2023. Her. I don't want to First runner-up, this is Billie Eilish. She's the first person born in the 21st century to have a number one song. Her debut was titled, Don't Smile At Me. Easy to do. Her genres are electric pop and bedroom pop. Don't. 
Don't even ask. She performed the theme song to the James Bond movie, No Time to Die. And this happened. She's the youngest person in all of Grammy history to win all four of the general field categories. Best song, best new artist, record of the year, album of the year. She was conceived in vitro. X-Gen, I think you might like her. I think she has the perfect soundtrack for like a rainy day or a suicide pack. What is an Ariana Grande? She is an itsy bitsy, teeny weeny, four octave singing, modern day Mariah Carey. This is what she looks like. This is what she sounds like. This is what she smells like. Her fragrance line exceeded 1 billion in sales in 2022. This is how she started. You can get juice from a potato. And this is what she's doing now, drawing little hearts in the moisture in the window. And it got 2,179,884 likes on Instagram. Good for her. She's also a very great vocal imitator. Here she's doing Christina Aguilera. And here she's doing Britney Spears. She's idolized all over the world by teenage girls and millennial gays. No surprise. She's a vegan. No surprise. In 2019, she supported Bernie Sanders for president. She married her realtor. She was raised Roman Catholic but said, Kabbalah kind of stuck with me. Hey, Generation X, this is an Ariana Grande.